about chapters uh, 9 to 10 in A Wrinkle in Time by Madeline Langle. And let's start. So Meg is right now going toward the man uh, in prison in the column, which is her father, right? And um, also, if you have been Meg, how would you be feeling because you couldn't even go to her father and father couldn't see her? And um, if you if you had been Meg, how would you have um, re, um, responded to Charles Wallace's snide comments? Would you? And um, I also wanted to ask you about um, Charles Wallace and Calvin is very good at communicating, right? Do you think that did you think that Calvin was going to succeed um, in in um, communicating with Charles Wallace? But anyway, um, then Meg uses those spectacles, right? And she goes in, right? How do you think that Meg felt after all this time? Now she was with her father, right? And Charles Wallace. I mean, um, and but anyway, um, so now I also wanted to ask you about um, Mr. Murray, and he can't. Yeah, and um, he can't see Meg, right? So how do you think that Meg felt when she realized all this and um, and um, also I also want to um, ask you about the glasses, right? How do you think that they'll um, go through all this after all this, right? And but anyway. Um, I also wanted to ask you, and I mean, what do you? I mean, if you had been Meg, do you think that you could have done all this, or do you think that you wouldn't have been brave enough? And Charles, right? Um, Charles, Mr. Murray gets a bad impression of Charles because when Charles, when Mr. Murray was around, like Charles was a baby, but now he's grown up. He's a little grown up, right? And so. First impression of Charles with for Mr. Murray, bad, right? So how did you feel about that? Because you know Charles, right? And um, why do you th why do you think that? Um, do you think that was right that Mr. Murray, um, like Mr. Murray, tested to another planet without Charles? But anyway. But before I want to talk about that, I want to talk about Miss about it. So it is trying to get them right. And how would you have made it stay out of your brain? How would you have done it? And then they um and then they began to do the Declaration of Independence. Be, and because this is very important words, right? And this is fighting it. And um, if you had been, I mean, and I also wanted to ask you this question. And do you think that it was um, very smart of the author to make it as a brain? And um, also, um, what do you think of this it? And um, and. I also wanted to ask you about um, about Charles Wallace, right? Charles Wallace is now like, uh, right? He's getting hypnotized, right? So I wanted to ask you, um, how do you think that Charles can be saved? In your opinion, how do you think that Charles can be saved? Because right now, he is right now very hypnotized. How do you think that, yeah, I asked you before, how do you think that Charles Wallace is gonna be saved? Because this is a big question, because we need to save Charles Wallace, right? And then, so, Tessa Ray, she's like, bang, and she goes unconscious because Mr. Murray isn't the best at Tessa Ray, right? Tessa Ray. But anyway, she's alive. But anyway, 
What I'm going to say is that Meg is very sour to, to her father, right? It's because of it. He doesn't let people go very um, without a fight. He's made Meg very, um, very mean and rude, like cruel and mean, right? And evil a little, not, but not completely, just a little mean and, you know. I mean, I mean, and if you, and how do you, and why do you think that um, Calvin didn't get all this? And um, I also wanted to ask you about the, and I also wanted to ask you about the sensation that Meg is in. Um, would you ever want to be in that kind of sensation? And how do you think this felt? And could you compare this to something in Earth? Because this is not Earth. This is completely different from Earth. This is another universe, another, it's, it's in the same universe, but it may as well be in another universe. This is in, other, in another galaxy, another solar system. This is far away from Earth, light years away probably. And then, there is, um, there is these, um, there is these habitat, habitants, right? Three moving figures. If you, I mean, what, I mean, um, what do you think of them? And if you have been, um, Char I mean, Calvin and Meg and Mr. Murray, how would you have reacted to them? Would you have been scared or, or, or what? I mean, how would you have reacted to all this? I would be scared. What about you? And um, I also wanted to ask you about um, the beasts. They have no eyes. Or at least it doesn't say anything about the eyes. Okay, but anyway, these beasts. Um, but anyway, um, I also wanted to ask you, I wanted to go back actually, and I wanted to go back to it, okay? And I wanted to ask you about it. And it's that, um, what and did you th and what about it? So I wanted to ask you. Um, so it is a brain, right? I want I I we address that. But anyway, I wanted to ask you about um, the reason. I mean, about the reason that it is trying to take over the universe. First of all, what do you think the backstory of it is? Anyway, he's a giant brain. I mean, like. This is normal, a giant brain, okay? Not very normal. Why do you think that, I mean, how do you think that he was even made? I just thought that it was a very interesting question because nobody's actually thought of that. I mean, you might, but I have never thought about that. And and when when this monster, and we're going back, okay? When the monster said that they're gonna take the ch take Meg, what did you, how did you feel? Did you feel a little scared? about this and anyway from now ne um, next time we're going to read 11 and 12 chapters 11 and 12 then we'll be finished with the book of wrinkle in time it is a little sad that the book's getting over but you really but you would do like it right so this actually leads to the other questions because i just asked you if you liked it or not so far and now i wanted to ask you as always what was your favorite part right uh, in these chapters and what about the favorite part in all of these um so far right and what do you predict is going to happen next what do you think the monster is going to do and how do you think that they are going to save charles wallace this is really um exciting as um um, a little scary, right? So this is a cliffhanger, a good cliffhanger. How do you like cliffhangers? Um, that was just a quick question. But anyway, hope that you have an awesome day. Try not to mess with any giant brains. They might do some serious damage to you. And 